Okay. I have a fever. I have a fever. <laughs> you gotta check my other ear to make sure. I don't think so. Are you sure? Hey, was it you making all that noise last night? Or this morning? Was it you? Okay, you wanna go out? Oh my gosh. Ooh, good morning guys. Good morning. It is myself and so that is awake right now. Oh, and this guy. Go on out. Go on out. Go on out. He's being challenged. Ah, ah, ah. Go down. Okay. I have to watch him. <laughs> he doesn't want to go out because it is rain. It's raining outside. And I don't know what's up with dogs in rain. They just don't like it. I'm not going to say I'm thrilled about it either. Oh, listen to all the birds, by the way. They're so noisy. <laughs> when it's raining outside, he just does not want to go out there. I can't say I wrong him, but I need him to go do his business. And I have to be so careful because I need him to go off the deck and not go on my deck, if you know what I mean. Go on the deck. Say good morning. Good morning, mommy. <laughs> Are you ready to go eat? She's asking for something to eat. Look at you in those ratty pajamas. Um, we did a Costco haul the other day and we picked up some pajamas for her because I've been in, she's been in need of pajamas, like the ones that she has, look at the pants. Look at them, they fit her. And then we put on this top with it as if they go together. Mm. Um, yeah, her pants are like super short and they, she needs new ones. It's interesting because growing up Caribbean, I don't really recall having, I think I may have had like one nightgown here and there, but pajamas aren't necessarily a thing that our parents would buy because culturally we're usually about trying to save money and money's usually tight, you know, like, like growing up back home. And so you would use, what's the matter? What's, what's the problem? I can't lift you. I got to go make you breakfast. Um, yeah, so we generally don't, usually don't buy pajamas. You would make, um, make do with what you have and have them wear like old clothes that are just not suitable for wearing anymore. I should stop talking because when we got up, the first thing Zoe said to me wasn't good morning, mom. Oh shoot, what am I doing? I'm like turning on the light. Every time I come down here to function, I'm always like having to turn on the hood range. Um, yeah, she didn't say good morning. She said, I want something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to eat? What would you like to eat, my little snuggly poo? Good morning, I love you. I gotta go change her diaper too. I have to go change her diaper, but I do like to get her food prepared. That way I can just give her, give her, give her, I can't speak, it's too early. That way I can even give her a spoonful of food. What would you like? You don't even have a clue. Do you want some oatmeal? Absolutely. Apple not. juice. Apple juice is not food. <laughs> she says the same thing every morning. Would you like to have one of these yogurts until I make you um? Okay, but juice is not breakfast. Okay, what she's pointing to? Cranberry juice. I thought I was either either having a kidney infection or a bladder infection and I asked Hubby to pick me up juice. He picked me up this stuff. This stuff is no joke. I want. We use our manners, please. Say please and thank you. Please and thank you. Yeah, he picked me up these, this cranberry juice. Usually I can stomach it a little bit better, but since I've been pregnant, it's been hard. Like, I only had some one time and the kids, the kids um, have been in it. And I'm like, guys, leave me a little bit <laughs> because I'm gonna just in case, you know, I didn't know if I really did have a bladder infection because, you know, or kidney infection, urinary tract infection. I can't think. Yes, you, you, urinary tract infection because they say those are very common during pregnancy. Also, this is kind of strange for me. I don't like giving her a lot of like juice and acids in her stomach for breakfast when she hasn't eaten yet. That's gross. Cause I know for me, it makes me sick. So I don't generally like to, to do that. 
Yes, you. Yeah. Um, forgive me if I my face and I had sleep in my eye because I literally rolled out of bed, came down here quickly for Zozo to get her something because I have a spare toothbrush down here. I brush my teeth several times throughout the day. So I'm like, okay, I'll just brush my teeth when I come downstairs. So I have not done even that. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, you need help? Okay, you hold it. Cantaloupes are a little harder to stick, I know. Um, it's okay. There you go. Go ahead and eat it, please. No. Why? Bite your toast. Leave this for the cantaloupe. Put it here, and I'll go get you juice. juice in here. Yes, mommy. Anyways guys, so while this little girl eats, I usually just sit with her. This is kind of, this is a little bit of a morning routine I guess, just her and I because I have been allowing the other kids to sleep in since they've been off, even though they're doing their schoolwork and stuff. Our schedules have all just been thrown off. Hi. Sit down and eat now, please. You want me to go change your diaper first? No. Um, it's actually our first day alone. Um, because hubby just went back to work today. He hasn't gone full day. His company isn't functioning like that. They're what they're all working like half days and in rotation, so there's not a lot of them in at the same time and yeah they're just kind of they're really really i guess doing their best to take precautions but it doesn't mean that it's not kind of scary because things are <laughs> feels like they're returning to normal i'm so happy i can stomach something in the morning usually when i come down here i kind of look through the cupboards and i get severely grossed up by all the scents and the smells but this morning while I was in bed, I, Zoe and I woke up early this morning when hubby was leaving the first time. And then when we went back to sleep, I was woken up twice. First by like a clink of a sound down here. And I literally jumped up. Like, watch him, watch him bed. okay, then pick it up and feed yourself. Mm hmm. It woke me up. It's, it scared me because I knew Aaron had already left. We heard when he locked the door. And I'm like, I know the kids aren't up super early. So what the heck is that? Anyways, I kind of just like wrote it off to be the dog. Maybe clinking his bowl against something. Even though it sounded like it was clearly on the counter. Oh my god. You know, the second time when I heard like this big no, like kick sound. It sounds like the kid cooking their bunk beds which was what i wrote it to but it woke me up and it freaked me out and then it just seems like since i've been down here i've just been like spooked <laughs> yeah 
You want to check my temperature? Okay. I have a fever. I have a fever. <laughs> you got to check my other ear to make sure. I don't think so. Are you sure? Have a fever. Look at the facial expressions. Thank you, Dr. Zoe. So what should I do? What should I do if I have a fever? And if you guys are if you guys are wondering why she's playing this, it's not because of corona. It's not because of what's going on. It's actually because um Yeah? She, it's because she's been watching this her doctor show on she's been wa watching this doctor show on YouTube not doctor show but like her kids program and inside there they always um, pretend play it's like something on little baby bum or whatever she pretend plays they pretend play that the character has her fever and so that's what she does she loves to play with this little mini doctor kit We've had this one for years. I don't know how we've managed to keep it because I've gotten rid of so many children's stuff. <laughs> I'm actually really surprised at what has remained. I had very, very little things that I kept downstairs. Well, then why? Uh, <sighs> Are you checking for cavities? Are you a dentist or a doctor? Which one? I'm a dentist. Oh, now you're a dentist. Oh, boy. First you're a doctor, and now you're a dentist. I'm a dentist. You need my help? Would you need my help? What do you need my help for? Oh, jeez. These games. I can't get anything done. You need help with a doctor. Okay, well this doctor needs to go fuel herself first, okay? Guys, I am going to try to eat something. Okay, you told me this before, so I'm trying to take care of it. Um, I gotta go change the baby. Get her hair all done. I'll take you guys along to do that. I don't do her hair all the time. Like, I just like to let it be free because it's in that state where it's just like a little TWA, you know? It's just so short and really um, perfect for wearing curly like that. Say good morning. Good morning. Are we in Zoom? Probably. Yeah, so we're about to clean out our fish bowl. Tilt it up. Yeah, tilt there it. There we go. Hey. I'm gonna go put it back. We're gonna go put it back where it belongs and then we'll leave it there for a good number of hours for the day before putting it in. They, I One capsule seems like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable, my goodness gracious. <laughs> That's it, guys. <laughs> She's so extra. She's like, uh, uh, yeah, but she looks so cute. Come look, come say hi. 
Say hi to everyone. Hi, everyone. I got my hair done. Look at your hair. Isn't it cute? It's, it's cute. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> oh, you look... What? I'm barely feeling to... You've got three sisters. Ask them to play. I'm done. For the day. Not... <laughs> Okay, guys. Um, my house is a bit of a the my house is a bit of a disaster zone. Aaron is at work right now. He's supposed to be on his way home. We don't know. Haven't we haven't heard from him yet? Um, I have laundry to go throw in because we are down to like one towel left in the linen closet, which is not good. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask Michaela to get that basket for me so I can throw it in. And then everyone else, no, no, you're gonna run and grab something one second. You see how, how kids are? Anyways, um, yeah, the house just needs to get straightened up, so we're gonna try to deal with that a little bit. And um, then I'll touch base. It's afternoon already, so I don't know if this is gonna, this vlog's gonna end here. <laughs> um, it probably will, because I'm not feeling the best, and I still have to study, because I have an online exam, which I'm trying to write soon, but it's a lot of studying. And it just doesn't help that I've been feeling sick on and off. It's just really hard to study and focus when you're feeling ill. And yeah, it's just been tough. So I have to make time to do that. Also, oh, before before my camera died and I had to charge it, I ended up making avocado toast. I either filmed a clip on my phone. If I have it, I'll insert it here. But I ate. Um, and then I was trying to explain to you guys that I am trying to maintain active throughout this pregnancy and since i've been feeling nauseous throughout for the can you grab the basket of laundry for me please um since i've been feeling nauseous i haven't been able to do that like i worked out once this week <sighs> yeah <laughs> that's really hard because i don't want to end up gaining a ton of weight and i feel i'm already just like in a in a zone just because i started off like nine pounds heavier than my pre-pregnancy weight which is messed up because i lost all the pregnancy weight after i had zoe basically one month after <laughs> and you know just poor eating habits or different things i guess just not being as active as i should be led to me gaining back nine pounds and um and then yeah it's so funny because i start off on this journey i was totally kicking butt before i got pregnant i was working out consistently for like a month and a half doing hardcore exercises and building a ton of muscle so i know i had gained a couple i gained probably like five pounds in muscle because i was doing a lot of muscle like weight lifting but it's always like but yeah i know i gained a lot of weight Shh, one second one second yeah, I know I gained a lot of weight in like weightlifting and stuff, but yeah, then I ended up just getting pregnant and now I just have to be very careful and cautious to not just quickly go over the top because I don't want to go higher than what I went last time. What's the matter? Did you bump your head? Oh, are you okay? Will you be okay? That's good. You look like a princess, Zoe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, guys, much love.